Hey fixers and welcome to today's video where I will show you the Python len built-in function. So, it, uh, so I just call it the Python length function. It um, returns the length of a given string, array, list, tuple, dictionary, or any iterable, or actually any other container type. So uh, you will you will learn about the notion of a container type in a, uh, in this video. Um, and you just pass this one object into the length function, and it returns the number of elements represented by this container. So um, we will we will dive into some usage examples. I will show you the syntax. I will show you the runtime complexity of the length function, and I will also show you how you can implement your own uh, um, custom objects and how and pass them into the length function to obtain the length of your custom container types. So let's dive into the into into some examples. I open a code share and. So some basic usage examples of the length function are as follows. So you can, for example, uh, create a list of customers. Say, so let's call it uh, customers. And then we have Alice, Bob, and Liz. So some element in our list, elements in our list. Now we can call length of this list. Okay, so now we pass the list into it and it gives us the number of elements. And if you like add an element using the append uh, function so say we add an element 42 so now the customers list has four elements now if you if you pass it into the length function we obtain the result four okay so it gives us so it works on lists it works on tuples it works on um, strings even like if you have the string hello it has five five characters if you have the string hello world it have has 11 characters and it also works on multi-line strings so you can have one two three and uh, say hello let's make it high world then we close it and it has eight characters okay so eight what are, so eight characters this is including the new line character yeah so we have world which is five characters high is two characters and then we have a, 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 an additional character which is a new line character okay so um um, it also it also works. The length function also works on dictionaries. So say you have a dictionary called uh, H, and you map, say Alice to I don't know 19, Bob to 22, and Carl to 25, for example. And now if you print if you pass it into the uh, length function, it has how many elements? Three, yes. Okay, so you can use the length function on a lot of Python objects. And actually, now let's let's dive into into this example. So let's dive into it. When can we use uh, the length function? And the, the answer is if you have a container type. So say we have, we create a class called cars. And this this class, like um, it's um, a container of cars in my garage. Okay, so this is the repre this class say. It doesn't really, it's not really true. I don't possess any car actually. So I, I, I live in a bigger city. I have, I drive pub, public transport. I, I work from home, so I don't have to uh, use cars, but so therefore I don't have any cars in the, in the garage. But mm, if I had cars, I can, I could use something like this. So we have the init method and self, and we create a variable called my cars. Okay, something like this. Initially, it's an empty list. And then we have another function, say, add car, and we get self. So each uh, each class method, the first argument is always a, a pointer to the instance itself on which it is called. And you call self my cars append the car. Okay, so this way we can like build a, this container of some cars, and you can use it, for example, here, um, say, my. It's a cars object, and then I have like I I add some cars, okay? Add car, say a Porsche. Add car, say a Tesla, and say we add W E. For what reason? <laughs> um, ever. So 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 now if you if you if you print um, so basically now if you if you if you try to pass. The my object, which is which is this like the cars in my ga garage. If you if you pass it into the length function, you will 
get an error because uh, because the cast the object of type cast has no length attribute uh, has no length function so how can we fix this so we can we can now create a new function a custom function called dunder so underscore underscore length underscore underscore and then we pass self and this just gives us the length of this instance on which it is called okay so this is just this is a name like this is one of these dunder methods that are defined on uh, for all classes and uh, either defined or not defined that you can define for all classes and actually what the length function does it takes it takes the um, instance you pass into the length function the object and calls the dunder length function on it and, re and gi just gives you gives you back the return value of this method so therefore you can you can um, you can like return zero for all in instances and now it would work it would return zero but you can also return the number of elements in the container and what is the container now i mean it, my cars object is a container uh, for say my car so i can i can really um, give the length of my cars list okay so even if the if my cast is not visible from the outside, I mean it is you in Python you can always uh, access the attribute. But um, like even if you have perfect encapsulation, you don't know um, the you cannot access the contents of this um, of this instance. You can still run uh, check the length of the of it, and and it will like internally this class will then just pass um, the list into it. And for for the list we have the length function is already defined. Okay, so we like piggyback our length function on the length function implementation of the of, the, of a list type and now if now now you can see we have uh, my cast is not a uh, self dot my cast uh, and now you can see we have uh, three elements in it okay so and if we if we add another element say say we have my add car um, what else is there uh, like Mercedes, for example. Now we would have four elements in our in our in our garage. Okay, so it works like this. You we can have we can define our own custom length function. And interestingly, if you don't define a bool value, so you know you can always we can always do the following. So for example, we can have if my print I have at least one car else print i don't have any car okay we can do something like this so we can pass my custom object my as as an as an if condition so and now now python will automatically pass it into the bool function okay it will like this one is semantically equivalent to this one where we have a bool function around it and the bool function will then check whether there's an implementation of the dunder bool method okay so if you want wanted to define your own bool uh, function you could do something like this but we haven't defined any okay so and and it will still work so and it will, will still give us a, tr a boolean value so either true or, or false when um, passing it this way as an um, um, condition of the of the if statement as like an as a condition of of a conditional statement so if we if we run this we would obtain the output i have at least one car okay why is that the reason is simple so it just uses the length to get a number to get a number of elements and if the number of elements is larger than zero it will return true so it will convert it to the to a boolean true value so if you have at least one element in my container then it will return true and i will go into the uh, i will go into the true branch of this conditional statement only if my container type doesn't contain any car okay so let's remove those four statements so we have now it's an empty container and the length function will return zero only in this case we will have boolean false and we go into the other branch i don't have any car okay so this is how you can define your own length function and by defining the length function you implicitly define also the boolean uh, implicit boolean conversion of your custom object so this is very interesting stuff and you need to know it um, otherwise you will be confused at, uh, at one point or the other okay so this is it this is um, everything i wanted to show you about the uh, python length function um, it's very powerful you can you can use it on all iterables you can use it on other container types and you can define your own custom um, length function via this dunder len method okay thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video bye